Sometimes we choose the wrong road in life, and sometimes we choose the right one. One day, long ago, I had to choose which road to take. Up here is fine, Rick. I appreciate the ride. No problem. See you tomorrow. I remember I had gone into town that day to see about getting some work. A rose for my iris. Oh, dear bird. You like to have scared me have to dare sneak it up on me like that. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just passing by and I thought I'd stop in here and surprise you. What I meant was, um, what are you doing here in town? I'm, uh, I'm looking for a new job. You're a foolish man, Delbert McIntyre. Meet me tonight at 7.30 at the gazebo. You'll see. Fine. I'll be there. So, um, what time is this big interview of yours? Oh, that's not till 12 o'clock or so. And what time is it now? Oh, I don't know. 12, uh-oh. Well, go! Go on! Yes? Hi. I'm here to see Judge Thompson. Oh, is he expecting you? Send him on in, Janet. Right this way. Have a seat. Let's get right down to business, shall we? You've got a good reputation, and I'm happy to offer you the position of my new court clerk. That is, if you're still going to take the job. Why wouldn't I? Well, there's one small condition on which my offer hinges. Sir? It has to do with a certain company you keep. I don't understand. And allow me to be blunt. If you're to accept this position of employment, then it will be required that you end all social interactions with your Miss Iris immediately. I don't think I can accept the conditions of your employment. I'll tell you what. You go home and sleep on it, and if you accept my offer in the morning, then you can start to work at 8 a.m. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> Delbert. Hmm, I was beginning to think you weren't going to come. What's the matter? Oh, honey, you didn't get the job? No, no. I got the job. If I want it. Silly, what do you mean, if you want it? Judge Thompson says that if I accept this job, mm -hmm. I can't see you anymore. It's politics. What? What are you going to do? I don't know what to do, Iris. If I don't take this chance, then I'm never going to have enough money to marry you. Say never. Things would work out some <gasps> They won't, Iris. They won't work out. I wish they could, but they don't. No. I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> That was the last time I ever saw Iris. The very next morning, I started my new job, and a few days later, Iris moved away. I tried writing to her, telling her they had made a foolish mistake, but it was years before I ever got a reply. She had her own family by then, as did I. We kept in touch through the years, and now, well, my kids are grown, and my wife is gone. You're a foolish man, Delbert McIntyre. Oh, it's so good to see you, Iris. <laughs> sometimes we choose the wrong road in life. And sometimes, life lets us choose again. <laughs>